So far, we discussed about uh, how SOC looks like, what are different components of power dissipation in SOCs. We discussed the techniques um, of reducing the switching power. We also discussed the techniques of CMOS technology as well as like design architecture techniques to reduce the um, leakage uh, power dissipation. Now we, we will talk about power gating in the circuits. So power gating uh, removes the power from a circuit and uh, uh, obviously in that case when there is no application of voltage there will be uh, reduce this reduce the leakage or no leakage okay we will see whether there is no leakage because that gating also happens through the transistor only okay but yeah in the the, the circuit the main circuit where we are applying some uh, voltage that is gated and uh, we let's go through uh, in more detail about it okay so suppose there is a logic block which is doing some sort of processing and uh, when it is not operating when and it is idle there is no switching power uh, is dissipating but still leakage will dissipate leakage power will um, dissipate so in that case we gate the power itself and that gating is done by either head air switches or footer switches like we see here so in case of header switches what is happening uh, if, if the power supply is connected here it's connected using a switch and it if it is disconnected the logic block will will coming to towards the ground because this ground is connected or in other case what will happen if there is a footer switch which gets the disconnects the ground basically the logic block will be connect will go towards the VDD VDD voltage where it is connected and that's the difference between header and footer switches there will be more more concepts related with which is to be cho chosen what are the um, on the header side you will be using a, a PMOS on the footer side you will be using a NMOS and uh, there, there are uh, different characteristics that we need to take into account uh, which one we are using. The main concept that we wanted to uh, discuss in here is that um, this power gating can happen at multiple levels there can be small block uh, at the at very low level, um, let's say there is a hierarchy in that hierarchy at lower level we can get the power or at the, at the block level or at the global level there's, there can be some switch which can be power gated. So the penalty with the power gating is that um, the when you need to wake the circuit up that will take more time than other, other techniques okay because there is no power to this block a lot of things need to be initialized again okay. some other things that we need to take care of is that these as we add these uh, units of gating they have their own IR drops so we need to be wise in uh, using that in optimal way to um, apply these um, switches for getting the power okay so this is up this applies for logic uh, logical blocks and as my last point says that memory does not use power switches okay it has its uh, sleep and retention retention signals and uh, where the voltage is only lowered for those retaining the content uh, but it is not uh, that it, memories are not power gated okay that they can go in self refresh uh, those we will see in uh, later chapters some some descriptions I have put in this context of power okay and the same way like IOs uh, can be frozen to a certain state uh, or clamped to a certain state um, in, when during the power collapse so power gating uh, overall concept is like we can use either header switch or footer switch and that itself is a, a transistor and uh, it's uh, it has 
it will have its own IR drop so need to be careful about that and there, again there, there are design aspects what should be the size of the switch etc that is carefully taken care so that um, for a particular um, properties the, that we want and uh, the switch itself is optimized for that. One concept uh, that we uh, went through earlier about the uh, multiple threshold CMOS that we will apply here because uh, <clears throat> as we discussed earlier the lower VT means faster uh, circuits more performance and the higher VT means that there will be low leakage. So during the sleep mode what is happening the power supply is cut for this circuit with main operational circuit but that is cut using the these switches in the sleep mode and we want a lesser leakage happening in this switch itself and that's why high VT PMOS or, or NMOS are selected for switches while the low VT uh, uh, rest of the logic circuit which we actually power gate is used okay okay what else one more point uh, up uh, one more piece of knowledge is that if if we use nmos nmos is preferred if we want to use only one of the two and that is for its low area and power uh, dissipation overhead uh, if we use a nmos footer switch right so and because of higher mobility of electrons uh, nmos footer switch is given a preference if we want to use only one of the two With the header and footer switches, uh, there were issues uh, of oscillations, okay, like we ground oscillations and ground bounds we say. So in order to tackle those, there were techniques deployed where we have multi uh, a, a set of parallelly connected switches and those were sequentially turned on and turned off just to reduce the ground bounds. Another concept is a dynamic sleep transistor. So we discussed a bit about body bias already. Okay, so we take about, um, advantage of that. Um, using the body bias, we can change the VT. Okay, so we take um, high VT sleep transistor in the ideal mode while low VT sleep transistor in the active mode. Okay, so the same transistors which were gating earlier. Okay, so we just said uh, earlier in previous slide that my gating transistors are high VT, but those gating transistors uh, in the ideal mode, we actually um, um, increase its VT further. So that's why it is called dynamic sleep, sleep transistor. While in the active mode, uh, because current is flowing through this, right? So uh, in that mode, we uh, configure it for as a low VT transistor with the doing um, body bias. So by body bias technology we use for the varying the VT of the transistor in the runtime. Okay, <clears throat> with power gating, we we there is some set of management that we will have to do. Uh, that we will discuss here in our devices in the circuits suppose we get a certain block uh, and its outputs are feeding to certain other block right and what happens when we get this block the the outputs become don't care don't care means uh, we it has an unknown state it's ni neither zero nor one it can be any any state because there is no power applied and uh, to tackle that um, we we have a concept of isolation clamps so when there is a power when there is a block logic block is gated its outputs are clamped to either either zero 
or one and that those are called isolation cells using with the use of that isolation cell with the same with the same signal sleep signal which basically gets it 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 gets activated here and now we know uh, a known state here either zero or one and uh, is fed to the next block okay one more um, uh, concept or one more um, thing that we need to tackle in case of power gating is the retention of the state and uh, because when we when the circuit is power gated we and uh, we want to save some of the um, state usually in case of processor say power processor is power gated and we want to save its state okay so there there are <clears throat> usually circuits are um, uh, operating in form of like sequential circuits are there there are flip flops are there they when the power is removed from them the they will lose their uh, state their state will be lost and uh, in case we want to save it there there are techniques of retention latches that we uh, deploy and at the time of wake that state is re uh, uh, restored back it's called rest power restore so those there are multiple techniques of uh, these uh, retention latches uh, one of them i will uh, just depict here but there are many 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 techniques and at each have their own advantages and disadvantages um, but, but the main concept that i'm trying to explain here is that uh, in our when we do power gating to save the maximum power uh, save the leakage power as well um, we we want to retain some of the state which can be restored at the time of we when we want to put um, uh, go back to the active state and uh, that saves my wake wake time right wake up time and the circuit is in active state first um, and for that there are uh, some circuits which where this particular state of flops is saved and during the wake mechanism when circuit comes back to active state those values are restored okay and yeah one more important point is that those um, <clears throat> those circuits where we uh, store save the data uh, save the during the power gating because those are on during the sleep state and uh, we those are usually those are high vt transistors are used in the those latches so that there is lesser and lesser leakage because at the at the time of sleep whatever circuits are active we want less leakage uh, happening over there and that's why again we are intelligently using that same concept that we discussed earlier that high vt and low vt the high vt transistors will be used in those uh, latches where we uh, save the state uh, during the power gating of certain uh, circuit okay so <clears throat> this uh, okay the the presentation agenda is primarily not this just uh, for uh, information purpose and just one technique there are multiple technique that one technique that is deployed in uh, save restore we call and during the power gating uh, this is called balloon latch and uh, in this case, uh, there are two signals that we need to control do, and this is done using some controller in the chip which is a low power controller and uh, suppose this is a master slave kind of flip flop, two stages master and slave. When it is power gated, then it's a state we want to save and later restore. So what we will do, we will attach this balloon latch here and these two control signals we need to drive to latch this data into this balloon latch and this is turned on okay and when it is turned on two two inverters connected to each other and that saves the data there right that data even after disconnecting the power from there this uh, that particular state will be saved here okay so this 
and these these are high VT transistors which are used in these inverters and these two gate controls are driven from the uh, low power controller uh, so that this data can be latched inside this um, uh, dual inverter connected to each other reverse right so state is re retained there and uh, the same control signals are uh, used uh, for restoring the data back into this circuit so the complex control signals are there um, and uh, this uh, save and restore mechanism is often uh, validated thoroughly in verification and validation that um, our save restore mechanism during the power gating is working fine or not all right so um, in this chapter we discussed uh, power gating uh, how uh, what are different um, uh, things we need to take care during power gate uh, we need to we discussed about um, isolation cells uh, we discussed about the retention uh, latches right and we also discussed about header header switch footer switch and high vt switches we can also deploy a variable vt switches right all those things we discussed so we take a pause here and then we will resume with our next chapter where we will discuss about dynamic power management